you're talking about apple juice, right? Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. No, I'd be I'd be straight up with people. I think we have uh, talked about that before. Yeah, no, I just need a I need to get my testosterone levels checked, and after that, I'll go from there. Yeah, we will go from there. All right, and I think we are live. Episode one hundred and two of Menace and the Man. Menace, 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 Menace is the one not at the party. Yeah, this is the uh, the men show and Dennis. Yes, but I wanted like you told me, Chad Skelly could fill your role, so that's why I hit Chad. Oh my God. Yeah. Just with a bigger shirt, like an extra large on my belly. <laughs> I don't know, Jazz. <laughs> you getting soft? You getting soft? Oh, extra soft. Like, feel Stan? I feel similar. <laughs> <laughs> what are you weighing right now, Menace? Buck 85? Buck 90? Yeah. So, yeah, you're getting up there. Yeah, my weight is relatively now. You what? Gilbert, we've gone before, dude. <laughs> yes. it, was, hey, it wasn't fun, but we've gone. Gilbert and suicides. Gilbert and I used to do it all the time. We try to avoid it. Try to avoid I've seen that in the photos. Gilbert looks extra thick now. Yeah, like that's that's a, that's a lot of I seen you post those pictures, Gilbert, and you'll put the monkey, the gorilla, the gorilla emoji with it. How much you bench you now, dude? You do what you have. I put some weight, I think, uh, that's what I keep now. I keep this cool. I damage the things for the right way, but I keep it cool. I could walk away and need to put more weight. And when I was sleepy for like three weeks, maybe a month, that I was out, when the things were fine, I was just eating for all the <laughs> Gilbert, in in Brazil, so in America, right, Chaz? Like someone will test himself. Like, how, how much you bench, dude? And you're like, uh, you like get away from me. That doesn't like mean you're a man or not. In Brazil, is that the same thing? Like, how much you best bench? Same. In Brazil too, it's probably what belt rank are you? Like what belt? Oh, yeah. What belt rank of jiu-jitsu are you? Belt. You're getting a bar, but like, what are you? You're probably fucking. Pink belt. Well, the heavy is the two. No one's a fire that I can't even be. God can't even be the old one. He's a fire. What the hell are you doing? So the bigger the ear in Brazil, the better? Sometimes. <laughs> the women like it. Oh, I think the women like people that aren't Brazilian over there, right? The Missouri women tend to go for the white guys. Have you been to Brazil? I've been to Brazil. I fought in Brazil. Okay, were the women like, we you turn heads? I had my girlfriend with me, uh, and I was wearing my thong on the beach, so I was definitely turning heads. I don't know if it was for the right reason. Yeah. You <laughs> can stick at that point. Yeah, that's right. Meet them off with both hands. <laughs> I saw they have a board here. Obviously, Gilbert's got a huge fight coming up, but Chaz is coming back in the game. When's the last time you fought? You've been out for a minute, right? Uh, yeah, uh, it's been a year. Uh, well, I fought in September of 2019, so it's been over a year now. And now Jared's on that card as well. And now what is that? Gilbert is... What date you got for that? February 13th. Okay, nice little Valentine's Day present for the missus. Go home the bell. That's not it. Right? Any night. What'd you say? I fought on Valentine's Day, guys. How did you win? Yeah. All right, so you probably got, you know, had a good night after that. That's right. Chad, did you do the sex afterwards? Uh, with my right hand. <laughs> <laughs> I always do the sex. <laughs> I'm a two, three times a day type of guy. What do you call it, S-A-L-L-Y? <laughs> my, my dad used to say, Mom, Pam, and her four daughters? That's what I did. <laughs> so where are you in Florida? What do you mean? Like you live here now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I live uh, a mile away. Okay, so DFL Beach. Yeah, yeah. And where are you? You're in Boca, right? I'm gonna go back to Fun Town real quick. 
everybody's hand that you've shaken <laughs> over the age of like 20 has had a dick in its hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Right? I mean, I would assume. That's why we just bumped my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, COVID, COVID is eliminating that. We're not worried about that. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So what's your follow-up with that one, Dennis? Do you have one? Oh, I just thought that was funny. And you, you, that's where I was going next. And you started jumping the gun with like some serious shit. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I was just asking, you have a good time. We were talking about Texas for a second or back home. So I was like, all right, are you in Texas or are you in Florida? So I had to just double check where Chaz is calling home at the moment. Yeah, well, I've, I've lived here for four years. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, Gilbert, the Brazilians, like the, the Brazilian hotbed. If you either live in... The Brazilians move to California, really? Not too much. They're yeah, in South Florida. Lot. There's a lot in California? Because the jiu-jitsu is very big for the West Coast. Yeah. The whole California is But you guys need, like, other than like Henzo, there's a few maybe in, like, New York. You guys need that one. Climb. It's like home, right? The beach, things like that. It's so cow. In SoCal, what's it, Barra Gracie? And so, yeah, Menace, it's official. They finally have figured out a date. Gilbert and your boy Usman. I saw that. So, well, that's Chaz. Pretend Gilbert's not here for a second. Yeah. What's it like for you, Gilbert and Usman? Oh, I mean, you know, this has been like a fight that's uh, been in the making for a long time now. So, in the beginning, a long time ago, when Usman was still here, you know, it was a little awkward at first when they when they announced it, but not really. I mean, it's, it's the number one guy going to go versus the number, or the champion versus the number one contender. I mean, it's the way it should be. And, you know, as far as, like, these guys have a lot of respect for each other. They're training partners, and they've known each other for a really long time. And they like each other. It's not like they, they dislike each other. They don't want to hold each other back either. You know, we, you know, as a gym, you don't want to hold your fighters back ever. And as a training partner, accomplishing their goals. So it's not really that... When you think about it like that, it's not that old. At first, when they first announced it, it was kind of like, oh, man, how's this going to work? But now it's just like, good problem to have. Yeah, Gilbert's just training, and everybody's around him supporting So Gilbert. Yeah, but I, I get it from Gilbert's point of view, like, tenfold. Like, I've got kids, too. Like, I'm going to let you, like, I thought that was really weird with DC and, uh, and, and Kane Velasquez. I mean, in my head... Cain Velasquez must have been crushing DC. For them to be like, uh, I'll change weight classes. I'll, right? Probably, yeah. But the thing with me, too, I think, uh, I knew I had to move up to the right way sooner than later. But I knew no way I'm going to even move. You know, it's always struggling. I always want to make it that way. And it seems that to a point that I like, you know what I'm doing anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm done with killing myself. You know, and then that was a lot better my career. And then I was able to take the show notice back. That was a big deal for me. And then so we got those show notice and did back to back and then and you were giving me a regular point that was a thing in my life. I finished the way I do and I kept doing the same range. Like, you know how to fight. You do it right there. I keep talking, they gave me Woodley. The way I do Woodley is no other way. I had to call for a title shot. And then back then, he was here, but he had a plan where he could get from those that were the Woodley. My next step was not going to be here. Even to the, to the Kobe fight, I gave him a couple of good rounds for that fight. And then I was in the back and forth with Ali and Wayne because he wants to move before that camp. And then kind of we, we talked it out and made sure that we just can't be already here training and then make sure after that fight he was going to But he was playing in league at that fight. But I remember I talked to him, Ali talked to him, so he did his camp. But right after that fight, we, I, I knew that. His next fight will be here, you know. So he was here and just kind of like, 
and this kind of accelerate his his way to go to go to another gym and go to this. So for me, it's all business, you know. For me, it's all yeah. And I have no emotions when I fight, you know. Like people say, oh, I, I have already got a couple messages when you fight Kobe, then she will kill me, that kill Kobe, blah blah blah. But like, I feel a lot of emotion if I'm fighting a guy that I know is coming out or a fight that a guy that I don't know or is like in school. I'm gonna hit with the same. Right. Fighting with emotions yeah, definitely, definitely zaps your energy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. I'm gonna choke the same way. I'm gonna the same way. It's the same energy. So, for sure, if you're trying to hear, I think I'm different. I will have. Things, but it's not here no more. So all the other teammates help me out. All the teams support me. Like it's not awful no more. It's, it's a yeah. Piece. So one thing not to ruffle any feathers, but was those pictures that are up there? There used to be a tomorrow picture, right? You still have those. Oh, there's still a tomorrow picture. Okay, just wondering. Yeah, we're not like petty or taking the pictures down and shit. Yeah. No, no. Like no hard feelings. Like, like you said, you know. Like I think I could see. Especially because you guys have done so many rounds. Even after this fight, you guys probably will trade together again. Yeah. And still friends. More respect probably. We will never play first call each other in this side. You know, never like that. But I don't see him in the gym. And he was a good work for me. Every time that I had a chance to see him, let's go. He had to get to round. He cornered me once. I, I, I won him up to one or two fights out there. Like when he fought... Uh, Maya was is him before the fight. We fought on the same on the same court, Kobe together. We we're never close friends outside of the team, but as a teammate, we we're very close teammates. You know? Yeah, you guys you guys aren't calling each other for barbecues, but we are the gym. Hey, what's up? But you guys like to you know the whole the gym, gym talk. situation like that because I had kids in the kids for the fight for the kids a year playing together. So yeah, we have really situations. But it's only one champion. You know, I want to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it, it's a it's a weird thing because like uh, from his point of view, it's kind of like, whoa, you think you can beat me? And then also, there's the other outlook as like we fight for free all the time. Let's get paid and fight for like big money. <laughs> like you know. Yeah. In another aspect, too, it's like with what we do within May, it's such a small, close knit community. It really is in the grand scheme of things. It's a small community. So you're going to end up fighting people you know or people you let. Like a guy, I'll, I'll fight a guy in Jamal Embers. I've trained with him before. You know, it's just, it, it works out that way sometimes. Hell, back when, before I was even in the UFC, I had one of my close friends, uh, Johnny Bedford. Well, you know Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Yeah, you know yeah. Johnny. Yeah. So John, Johnny and I are super close friends. and. And uh, we always talked about before I was ever in the UFC or him, we were both getting ready to go try out for the Ultimate Fighter, but we were like, if we ever had to fight just to get into the UFC, we would fight each other. Like, <laughs> there's no, you know, it's nothing. Oh, yeah. Just it's all business. It's always just all business. Yeah, and like yeah. Dennis said, so even for you and Kamaro now, you got to the main event, you got to get paid. Yeah, and then. Uh, and it's a competition, like the way Chaz was, was putting it, it's a competition. We were out there, try my best, gonna try our best. Mess, the best man that I was going to meet for me, to be honest, my, my feeling right now, only to lose, I don't think nothing gonna change with Kamal, you know, all those feelings, I'm not gonna have that feeling. One but question I have. The same the news, you get peace and everything. Yeah. I'll be peace with me, not with you. One question I have is uh, I know when the fight very first got announced like a year ago, right? Henry was like, I'm not going to be in any guy's corner. I'm not. But he's done like two camps now away. Is and He's done two camps kind of with you. You guys have been training nonstop, right? So is he now like has enough time passed where he's like, yeah, he's been away long enough. I'm going to corner you, Gilbert. That's a good question. You got to ask me sometimes. Uh, oh, okay, I didn't. I didn't. Sometimes, I don't know. I feel that sometimes they will, but sometimes I, 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 I don't know. Because I mean, if I had a gym and two of my guys are fighting, like, all right, I'm not cornering. If one guy leaves, and especially for what's it been like, 
seven months now? Like eight or a year? I don't know. Like, all right, he probably learned a bunch of shit. So, I mean, you've been going over a lot of shit. So, I don't know. I, I hope he goes, but until right now, I don't know if he really goes to the fight. Oh, I think, I think 100% he'll go. I don't know if he'll corner you, is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that's gotta be a tough one. That's actually, that's actually, you know what? You're a lot smarter than I give you credit for, Dennis. Thank you. I never thought, I never thought you'd come up with a good question like that. But here we are. Every I'm now and then. <laughs> Same guy talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> right. I hope you do go. I know Brad goes. I know Brad goes. My question is if Andrew goes. Any, I, I think he goes. I don't know if he goes to actually walk to the. Because I think, I think you'd be at a slight ditch of disadvantage if you didn't have your coaches in your corner because they trained him to one point. You know what I mean? Like, he's got his guys he's been working with for seven months now, like day in, day out. They've got like codes and whatever. And you got to have like, Chaz, Chaz, can you step in and corner me? I know you don't really corner me a lot, but. And so, Gilbert, like your MMA training, did you do a lot of the striking with anyone other than Henry? Well, it's mostly been with Henry, right? And same thing with Kamara. He maybe has one or two other coaches he worked once he got to the UFC, it was Henry. Yeah. So, like, you guys are both from the ground up with Henry, so I got to think that's... It's not that simple. Not simple at all, yeah. So I don't want to feel him in that situation. No, I don't want any of you to No. If you feel like going... You more than welcome. Okay? If you don't feel like going, I understand it is awkward. You know, if you have two guys for like eight years, seven, seven to eight years, the wrong guy left. For me, it seems like a lot, seven months. I don't know for him, seven months means that much. He was the, he was the best he could do, you know. So I'm not going to come over here when he's facing that pressure. Right, right. Throw, throw the option. Because I know, like, <laughs> <laughs> for example, like Stan, Stan needs like a coach in his corner. Me, I'll fucking, I'll, I'll pull some like Mike Perry shit. Like, you want to be my corner? Like, but I mean, I definitely want to have my trainers in my corner. But like, I don't think the result is going to change. I don't think having a corner uh, like my coach in my corner is going to change the outcome of the fight. It might make it closer or. Or not, but I don't think it's going to change the overall outcome. Yeah, your post can change. Yeah. So we need to change the whole thing. The overall outcome? Yes. A coach gave you adjustments that you uh, made. Yes. Yeah, like, thank you. Like, yeah. yeah you saw that work. A couple, a couple of fights that I was calling to, it's, it's the way I see is kind of like that, that training in my trade, right? And uh, we, we, I, and sometimes the train goes off the trail. And we have a couple of great, great and amazing coaches that they are capable to pull that train back to the trail. And sometimes the train goes off the trail and if the coach is not there, if the relationship with the coach or who else is in your corner, they're not, they're not able to pull it back. And that happened with Luke a couple of times when we were calling him. And then when we saw he was kind of uh, resistant or waiting too much, he gave a couple of cool words that he changed his man. When he said that, I saw see things more clear. I remember one of my fights when I saw Oliveira in Brazil. I was very frustrated going to the last round. And I lost the first, I lost the second. I, was, I didn't know what to do. I was very frustrated. He was like, hey, what are you doing? You want to lose that fight? I said, no. You know what you got to do? I said, no. He said, just walk forward, this guy. I'm going to lose. And then he gave me that, that shit that changed. And he's I, a tricky opponent, and all I of believe, that. But I believe he yeah, changed he's the outcome. I, I, I do believe he changed the outcome of that fight and a lot of other fights. Like, if you watch that fight again, uh, Eddie Alvarez against Gilbert Melendez. When Eddie Alvarez blowed the most, remember he, in the eye just remember that scene? So when that scene happened, yeah, I was sat down and then I remember watching that fight and I was like, hey, why Eddie kind of quit? He sat down like, he's over Harry. Uh, Harry, hey, uh, no, and Harry, no what? 
You're going to keep fighting with the eye like that. And the doctor came in and the doctor, oh, can you see him? Yeah, get the fuck out. He got you what? He got you what? He's good. He, the doctor didn't did even make it fast. We, we had him. Doctor looked at fight again. And yeah, he's good. Hey, you're going to fight again one more round. You're reading that fight. Oh, uh, pull him back. And then he said, he just, if you don't add the Alvarez to Twitter or Henry, yesterday I was talking about that with Henry. And then someone just tweeted out, he blowing his nose. Like recently, like today or yesterday. And then I looked like, wow, I was just talking about that. So with that being said, I do think a good coach that knows you, that knows your potential, that 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 been there before, he can't change the outcome. Yeah, and even you, Dennis, that you're saying a coach, you don't feel like a coach has or could have changed your. No, outcome. no, 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 no. I'm not saying they don't help. I'm saying the total outcome. Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. I, know what you mean. I would say I might still win, but I might take like way more shots, or I might not finish the fight as quick. But I mean, after what you just said, I mean, now that I sit here and think about some fights, I'm like. All right, because I probably would have got like arm barred a couple times if Greg wasn't in my corner. But like, but if, if Gilbert was in my corner, it might still be the same. I, I might not have got arm barred either. You know what I'm saying? I'm yes. saying like, yeah, I couldn't have, have like a, a chick off the street corner me. Something but, I was going to throw in that too, though, man. Is I've seen you corner people and change their fight. Yes, yes, for sure. Well, you know, another thing too is like uh, sometimes corners more than the. Or just as much as the coaching that they're offering you during the fight, it's a level of comfortability uh, throughout fight yes. week and in fight day, even in the warm ups. Like, you're just comfortable with that person. Y'all mesh well. Like, me, I'm pretty calm throughout fight week. I don't, not, not like Prima Don, I don't like to get all crazy. And, and then before the fights, I relax and kind of sleep before I warm up. And then I warm up and I go out there and I, I just like to stay calm, you know? And when you have when you have coaches that aren't on the same uh, wavelength, you know, right. they start like, draining you. Yeah, yeah, they can drain you. And then and then like Gilbert was saying, you know, a coach that can just turn the switch on at, at certain times. Henry's kind of done that. Like I actually lost the fight, but it was a fight that I broke my arm in the first round, and uh, I came back and just knew my arm was trash in, the, in between rounds. I said, hey, you know, my arms, uh, I can't even use it. He's like, oh, fuck that, you know, stand up strong, show how strong you're like, like we're, you're fine, we, we, we have, you know, you've got other, you got another arm, two legs, you know, you're fine. And I do feel like I went out there and won the second round after my arm was broken in the first, so, you know, I got TKO'd in the third, but who's talking about that? <laughs> hey, you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> in the future, that was crazy. It was the same thing. You were here, I, didn't, I wasn't here, but. Shamil, we got a, a Russian guy here from Japan, Shamil Nikolaev, he fought in battle, and his knee was completely torn, PCL. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down on the first round. And then I was on his point. I did, to be honest, my fight was already booked yet, and I didn't want to go. But he helped me to go to the Gruner Nelson fight that was a short notice all the way in Denmark. He wanted me. And I kind of mean, all that guy wanted him, cannot go somewhere. I didn't want to go, but I felt, you know, when you felt that man, it's going to be important that I go, so I'm gone. When we go there, everything was good. We got easy, boom, go to the fight that I told me on the first round. And I heard that pop very bad. Bah! And then I'm like, whoa, that was his knee. I thought my was like, wow, shit. He fired up. Uh, so the round was over. We went in, you know, what for the first round, he can be. And I knew he was gonna say that. I said, "Bro, my knee's done. I cannot walk." And I said, "Yeah, I know." So, and then I was just like him. I was very, "What well, you wanna do? Uh, go on right now, or you wanna? We can't fight two more rounds like that. You know that guy's not that tough. Let's go." But I'm saying, "Calm right now, bro." I was in that calm. I, was, Let's go. I don't care about your knee, blah blah blah. blah. And then, so Chess was here with the doctor. With the doctor was checking on me. And then the doctor, the doctor called me to say that, and the doctor, hey, how come you fought with your knee like that? You know how old he's answering? He said, Gilbert made me fight. <laughs> the way he looked at me, he talked to me, he made me fight. The doctor called me to say that. The yeah. doctor called yeah. me. Bro, he said he just fought because of you. And then after we had a lot of conversation because of what happened, on those situations that sometimes you, you die, sometimes it happens when you, sometimes you want to quit, 
You see the easy way oh. out. You see the easy way out. This is a man. Oh. You believe them. You got to give me five more minutes. And sometimes they trick a couple of things on, on your brain. I don't know what tricks they like. Yeah, I'm going to give five more minutes. I, I can do it, you know? So that's why I believe, like, the coach or who else. Sometimes not even the coach. Sometimes a teammate or is a friend. Is someone that, no, you better do that. So I think it does change the outcome. I think, uh, like, whenever I assemble my cornerman, if you will, I look for someone that, like, there's, there's everybody's got, like, a, a handful of guys that can look you in the eyes and go, like, you know what you have to do. And you're like, yes, I do. You know what I mean? It gets you going. We're like, there could be someone, like, lesser than you or somebody that you don't, like, uh, like look up to and be like, hey, man, like, you got this. And you're like, dude, get away from me. Like, you fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> there's, yeah. there's these two different people like one person gets you fucking hype and other dudes like just you could tell they don't really believe it they're just, they're just scared and whatever and like for example like Algier was in my uh, corner of the last fight and you know he's you, know, you got this dude I'm like yeah I do but back to Henry he was in my corner when I fought Elkins I think on the second round or third round he's like the leg kick is there send it and my leg was already like fucking wrecked Cause he checked one of my kicks. I'm like, I don't, I don't want it, but I just like kept throwing the kicks to try and, you know, I did win that fight, even though I didn't. And Henry knows that. Don't get him, but, started. Don't get him started. Oh, he does. don't get him started. But, uh, no, but like it was, if he was just like, but I also knew I couldn't be like, but coach, my leg hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Okay, well, I, just, then I was like, yep, I will keep throwing the kick. And every time it was just going to hurt, just like, ah, like, fuck. But yeah, so this Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier, I'll segue into that. We have Michael Chandler on that card. We'll actually come back to that, and then we'll go to Gilbert's. Do you think they're going to add Colby versus Masvidal? I hope. I hope underneath you guys, right? I'm aware. We need to go on a ultimate fighter. I want to watch this fight and I want to say to yeah, ultimate yeah, fighter. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Ultimate fighter would be amazing. I don't. I'm not like no. I don't like no. I I want to watch this guy. That's my favorite. I do think uh, Kobe's gonna win no matter what. But I still want to watch. I still want to see the press conference. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually more interested in the build up than the yeah, yeah. fight. But I do want to see the fight, though. I do want to see the fight. Yeah, like, I think we know how that fight's going to go. It'll yeah. probably be Colby just smothering him, grinding him out. I would think so, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping for something different, you know. But, uh, you know, that's how I would see it now. But the reason why I bring it up, because obviously that's going to be, if that fight happens, the next one for the winner of Kamara and Gilbert. So, similar to the way that they're putting... Chandler and Dan Hooker underneath Connor and Poirier in case something happens. Maybe yeah, they Connor and Poirier isn't a title fight. They might make it a title fight. Oh. It hasn't been officially announced, but there's a lot of speculation. Yeah. Right? I hope not. I mean, I, I, I think the two. Because of Poirier, I think Poirier, you know, you guys have been grinding for a long time. You know, I don't see McGregor, you know, I mean, fuck guy sits out for how long says he's retired and comes back and automatically gets a title shot out. I just don't feel like it should work that way, but it is what it is. I'm out there. I'm yeah, out. I think if anything, <laughs> so if, I, if I, they I, don't I, make Poirier Connor, should be the two winners of those fights. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Chandler and Hooker versus maybe Poirier Connor. Right there. Fight over there. Did they make that? They, they say they want you. That's a good one. That's so, so there's six yeah, I mean yeah, there's a good group of guys on the fight. And I think oh. that the the good thing is would be about performance. If Chandler go out there and crush his Luca, yeah, he 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 he's gonna be gonna get the time shot. Yeah. Or if the hooker does that or I don't know, Charles fights, Oliveira fights, Gates and the Morris, like I think those type of of performance we will be for four times. Right? And he is and the, the, and the UFC waits for that shit. Right? Oliver is capable of Well I mean yeah, Oliver is is uh 
I've been saying he's the dog for twenty years. years. I've been saying that. Like I thought, all pair when he pumped the fifty-five, he's looked so good through his run at fifty-five. I've been saying for the last couple of years, like, these guys, like they need to, they need to move up a little. And that same like, thing, like with Gilbert moving up the weight class, yeah. not killing yourself to make. Yeah, it definitely, uh, it definitely says something. There, there are a lot of guys that are kind of doing that, making that move now. People are starting to realize, like. Carlos, I'm not one of them, but <laughs> so it works for some people. Not for me. Not for me. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, so Gilbert just slid to me. Um, it was Comey an event. What would be the main event of that one? Uh, yeah. Oh, so the Comey event for Adesanya uh, and um, Blahovich is going to be Al Jermaine versus Peter Young. Hey, how pissed is John Jones going to be if Adesanya is double champ before he is? Uh, you know, well, oh, what are you going to do there? I just, I just looked over John Jones' Instagram. He's on this, like, training like, attack dog, like, rifle, like, doing, like, marine co-op shit. I'm like, is this dude? I think he's on the, like, there might be a civil war, and he's preparing for it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, One million percent! He's going to run with the yeah, guns. Yeah, guns running, and he's going to attack dog and listen to him at yeah. attack commands. He's yeah. bringing his dogs and his rifles in with him to fight Francis and Gilbert. So I'm doing the YouTube channel now, too, and I made a little video. I was going to say that. I've seen Gilbert. He's coming after you, Menace. He's coming after Menace, too. I just say that because I don't, I don't know. I think John Jones took so long to go up to that. I don't think he's that, those kind of guys, like the Anthony Johnson guy that can go to 170. To a heavyweight, he looked like a heavyweight. I mean, he's tall, he's long, he's big. But I just don't see John Jones beating every single one on the heavyweight like he did that light heavyweight. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't see he's beating like a couple guys over him. He would be hard fight for me, first place. I think they train that's together. It. Yeah, and, but, but that's the thing. Like, I, I call Kumaro. For the fight because he's the champion. But when we're the teammates and the guys calling you out, that, that means something. That means something. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. You know you know what I'm saying? If, yeah. If, if you call a guy for a title shot, it's one thing. You want to be the champion. But the guy just left and I'm going to call him out, like, that means. He said he's got to be winning that. Yeah. Sure. We've kind of talked about that on Minutes and the Man about you, Gilbert, with Kamaru. You wouldn't be trying to fight Kamaru if it didn't go good in the practice room. Well, to be honest, well, you got pushed every time you went with him. You would probably be like, "All right, let me just." I'm oh, a few fights away from the title fight. Let me get couple someone days else days to take him out, and I'll beat that guy. I'm not gonna lie. A couple of days were good. Couple, couple of days were very bad too. So it was a lot of back and forth. But the competition was was real. It was wasn't something like you know it was it was a good competition so i want to get against this guy but he's the champ my my, my point is he's the champ and I'm, i want to become a champ but when the guy's not even a, a champion some someone that's running him out yeah i fight him like you know what i'm saying like and i don't see him doing that well I, it's just me i gotta see to believe you know? so you don't think john don't think it all, you don't think it all translates to heavy no man. because the last couple of performances that he had it wasn't I wasn't that impressed. I didn't speak. I was raised to Dr. Santos. I wasn't that was impressed. And I would raise up to Fat Francis in the room. I think I think a lot of the perspective on it. Go ahead. John Jones has never been beat. So, yeah. Chaz, you've definitely fought some guys that are underneath you. You're like, oh. Like it's tough getting ready to get pumped up to fight this guy. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know it's a fight. But like he's not a name, like it's hard. You know, what I mean? you don't you don't yeah. wake up and see his highlights. You know what I mean? For so, sure. You know, for John Jones, I can see him being like this dude. Like, yeah, yeah you know, I, I get where, the proper training for it. Yeah, I get where John Jones is coming from though with the move because he's like, I've already cleared out the division. There's nothing in the division that excites me, that scares me. I think it's a matter of like, there's nothing that scares me. He doesn't feel I like agree. there's anything he really has to prepare so hard for because he's not scared by anybody. And that's a big part of I mean, in in my opinion, that's a big part of uh, the effort you put into camp. Because I have run into fights with people that 
I could clearly see an advantage for myself and I'm like, you know, if I skip cardio today, it's not going to be a big deal. I'm going to shut this fucking guy out anyways. Like, it doesn't right. matter. Oh, of course, I don't look at fights like that, but I'm just saying, I think that he's just looking for something to give him, give him a little more, you know, give, huh? More motivation. Yeah, more, more motivation. Yeah. Maybe. But I guess, I got to see. Because I don't believe he can beat these guys. The way we were talking about Kobe. Masvidal, another great ultimate fighter season, Jones and Adesanya. Oh, that would be, oh, that would be awesome. That'd be amazing. I'd like to see. See, now, that's a fight that I would rather see than Jones fight any heavyweight. I'd rather see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would rather see that fight than any other fight. He's he fair. Don't do it with the first thing you go. I just... You think Francis killed? Yeah, he does. I, I believe so. I do believe that. I mean... I mean I would have he to think John out. He's kind of using his range. Right? That, that's what I was going to say. What I was going to say is, but have he might get, yeah, he could get caught. Absolutely. I think John Jones is successful. The heavyweight all depends on how well he can take down the big guy. What did they oh. call it? Um, the Remember they were saying that? Get hit by Texas and Ghana, we get hit by a car. Yeah, but if you can take down DC, you can take down any heavyweight. You ever seen the size of that guy's feet? No, I've never been around him, yeah, but. It's at the place, he was, he was looking for a week, Yeah, that's all right. Grapple, he, and at, at that time, he couldn't grapple. I mean, we're playing around with grapple, and then, whatever he was grappling, he could all eat a couple of times, play. And then, next day, he was very competitive. Next day, he was, was in the day training with his small glove. Huh? He was trying to piece something up with his little glove. And then soon he throw three, four feet on me and say, Oh no, I'm not training this guy though. No. <laughs> uh, you know when you set a box with the ball gloves and go for a takedown and do a couple of drills, he saw like it was a fair what he was doing, man. He started playing like that and said, yeah, this guy no. hey, if you wanna right. do only jujitsu I do. If you wanna go like that, <laughs> and then I kinda felt that a little bit and he just you know, that's years ago. How much he got back? The guy, they say he's, he's hungry. He's every single day. Ghana, right? Getting better, asking, you know, bringing guys. But think of the Stipe fight, and we saw that his ground game's lacking. Is there anyone in Vegas that's taking him down and holding him down? But that was the first time they fought Ghana. Yeah. And it's a lesson learned. You know, as soon as you, you felt that, you know, and I think. Even they were saying there's too much in those Like, I'm wondering if with, with that. Then he fought blades. Yes, and caught blades. Yeah. Caught him the same, twice the same way. So, yeah, you can. But a lot of that, a lot of, uh, even, even a power puncher, a big power puncher, a lot of catching a wrestler in the beginning of the fight has to do with footwork and movement, the way that you're moving to land the big shots at the very beginning. I mean, that's my question. He can move. Yeah, he can move. He Did can they move. book um, Steve A versus Ngannou yet? I think they, they're working they're on that, working. right? So you guys, you think Ngannou beat Stipe in the rematch? To be honest, right now, I, I'm not betting against. Yeah, you know, that's. I don't bet against. You know, <laughs> Whoever hits who first. Yeah, you know. Uh, so that's the thing too. Sorry to cut you. He's quick. We were playing shadow boxing. That guy's quick. He's not that he's strong, but he's slow. No, he's pretty quick. It's like Anthony Johnson. We went through a couple of strength conditioning with Anthony Johnson, and we got to do those ladder uh, full work. He's quicker than everybody. Anthony Johnson, he comes with 245 pounds, big, sometimes not even to me that much. You go to that freaking drill, his full work is so quick, his hand is so quick, that it's not even fair. And the process is just the same, so that's why I'm not betting. Freak athlete, Don. Yeah. Similar to Rumble. Freak out. Yeah. All right. So we'll wrap this up. We'll start corralling it in. So Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier. Hope Dustin, but I think Conor. Was that, you know, Ali was saying, uh, you said you gave Conor respect and were complimenting his brown game. And then Ali was like his three stripe white belt. He did. I was watching all his fights. He, Who else survived with he deep on the ground? But like that. even Chad Mendes, people don't give a lot of credit to Chad Mendes, but that fight with Chino coming very quick, it was two weeks or something like that. And Chad Mendes brought him, put him down, put him down, he was able to 
get up every single time. Get up. How many been held down by Chad Mendes before? It's not Chad Mendes. Chad Mendes is a pro, but Chad Mendes is a real good too. So he survived these guys. Okay, Khabib. Yeah, nobody gets up with Khabib. Yeah, he still did it. He jumped with Khabib, but. People will survive from giving him a lot of credit because for sure we have to do this. striking is right there. His striking is good, but it's not right there. But it's, it's, it's good enough. I think I His striking is better than Poirier and Gaethje. No better than Gaethje. Yeah. Different level for Gaethje. If you can compare. Khabib's just that good. Different, different level. Yeah, Khabib's a great, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, if you can compare. If you can compare. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Connor, Connor has been the best. I used to be a big Connor hater when he came in and started. Same thing. I used to be, but I came around. Through, and I respect. I respect his skills. Yeah. So, if you, if you would have asked me that question a while, you know, a while ago, I would have been like, oh my god, I used to suck something on. Realistically, it's another one of those things that he has great movement. He has great movement. And he's he's athletic. He's an athletic guy. He's explosive. He uses his explosion in the right time. I think he has good body awareness. Yes. So it makes it, you know, it makes it better for him in the grappling. Like he might not be a guy that's going to throw a triangle or an arm bar and catch him in guard, but he is a guy that can keep it standing or get back up, and that's all he really needs, you know. And I don't think you will show if you don't want to be a strike. Yeah. Because if you go to a point that you know what, I want to get better than crack down when start so beat it, you know, I want to get more time for my rep than I think you do. But I just don't think you want to put a lot of energy in this and then you just you love the strike and you want to be there. And you're going to train a lot of jiu-jitsu, you're going to get caught, you're going back to the speed. But I still believe if you really want to put a lot of time and do more grappling, I think you're going to be in the game, you're going to be yeah, Khabib is just levels of, yeah, there's no, the closest competitive fight that he could probably have is like a U or a Oliveira, maybe. Someone that could or wouldn't panic on the ground. Like a lot of the guys like Gaethje, Poirier, even Connor a little bit, I feel like they panic once Khabib's on top. Yeah. The pressure and they stop going, oh, I got moves, I can do shit. Oliveira versus Khabib is actually the fight that I wanted to see. I wanted to see it so bad. I want to fight Khabib, but I'm not. No way I'm cutting the fight. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be a super fight. Or even I was saying stylistically. I think to be honest, I can't make fifty five. Sixty five, I said. No, I can't make fifty five. I can make it the way, but I, I, I don't know how I'm gonna perform. I'm gonna really cut some fifty five. Yes, and it's eight now. It's just his dad. I make the way. <laughs> I make the way, but I don't know the performance. You know, I, I, I don't really know the way to perform. So. Yeah, and we talked about it last time or the time before we had you on. The missus is here in the room as well. That's why you <laughs> help me. Yeah, for help reasons. You're moving up 70, you're fighting better, better it's on the smart. brain. It's smart. And now you got that title fight coming up. So what do you think? Connor beats Korea? Yeah, I went best in two weeks. Is that Stan? I believe he got five. No, he didn't say it. I got five. He hopes Korea wins, but he thinks Connor's going to win. Oh, all right. Yeah, I, I, hope, I hope that's the way to Connor. I'm the exact same, but I, I hope Dustin more for like reasons. I, I think he's personally, I think he's a good guy. I like, I like the things that he does, and I've talked to him before. And he's he's a great dude. Um, I do want Dustin to win, but stylistically, I do see it being a good matchup for Connor. I will be super happy if Dustin wins, but I think. Yeah, Dennis. I'm in the same boat, and then also like. Uh... It's almost like he's got some big brother power over him with like beating him last time. Like, like, dude, you didn't even know what happened. I punched you in the in your forehead. You dropped like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we had I put on. He was saying that how like Connor shunned Poirier. Like, I'll right. give you the fight. I'll give you the rematch. You know, I beat you last time. And you know what? I'll donate to your charity. And Dustin was like, "Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm into that." Well, you know, I mean, I I I, I would I would look at that part of like that. I do see what you're saying as in the fight, as in like the way that he beat him. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see that, but as far as like giving him the charity and stuff, it's like I, I think it's I think he had to do it for his image. Connor, I think yeah. Connor had to do it for his image yeah. more than anything. I mean, he's been punching old men in bars and shit. He's he got to do something to make it. Under these suits, yeah, he's going. Yeah, he got to do something. 
You got to thank Chaz for joining us, Gilbert. So even you got your fight coming up, the next good. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. I like no to hear that. I like right. to hear that. So I'm good. Well, now you're ready to go. I remember that was why you were out. 100. percent I saw your name up on the board. Who, who's um, Jamal Emmers? Jamal Emmers. Yeah. Jamal Emmers. Yeah, so this is well around. He's got like same record as me, like 18 and 4, I think, something like that. And who's Jared fight? Jared is fighting Danny Chavez. So yeah, looking at that board, very busy month. Obviously, we're going Chandler over Hooker as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a given. So before you guys get out of here, you guys both doing a lot of rounds with Chandler. How's he look? He's looking good. He's looking good. Michael Chandler is a number two. He's a wrestler, he's a rapper, he's a strong, he's a big, tough matchup. I don't like that matchup. Honestly. We were talking about just a glimpse of the force of the battle, way more just a game. Oh, for sure. Beautiful matchup for Michael Chandler. But, and then, a couple of weeks they changed, now he's Hooker, and then, was, you know, like, what? Supposed to be you. That matchup I don't like that much, but I still think Michael has the power to mix things up, take him down multiple times, and still can. Michael has a power to play. The thing is, he beat already two former champs, two former UFC champs, Eddie Alvarez and Ben Hayes. I think both twice, if I'm not wrong. But people think people are going to get surprised. People are still like taking him out of the circle. You know, I know you, you never fought on the UFC, but already, you know, people are still Everybody does that, Everybody right? Does Everybody gets that. If you're not the UFC, you come from anywhere else, yeah. we'll see how good you are. Yeah, people kind of hate him, yeah. you know, but it's dangerous. And the way he, I think he, he can beat uh, Dan Hooker, and the way I believe he will beat people will be shocked. You know, the way he can beat this guy, the way he beat, because Hooker did it. Hooker went through a war, he does some four years, he war with a lot of guys. Michael's going to go all day, hope, finish him, that's it. So he's a hard fight, but he will be rewarded if he wants to win the fight. Hooker's tough, but if there's anyone that could do that quick, put him away, it's Michael yes. Chandler. Sure. Yeah, he even beat me up. So. <laughs> All right, He's so. my ass every day. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's like I was going to say, yeah. So I've seen, obviously, you guys are around the same weight. we got Jared. You guys all have fights coming up, so I'm expecting. That's not this weekend, is it? No, two weeks. Okay. 23rd. Is, is there anything this weekend? No, not until. Nothing. Max and Cater. So we'll yeah. end it on that one. Max and Cater. Who are you going with that one? Hey, I love Max Holloway, but Cater, last time fight, he looked amazing. Max, too, I still think he won't go to fight against uh, Volkanov, to be honest. I think he won't go to fight but I think he's got a great kid. He has super great kid names. I don't know. 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 Stan, can you give me ages? Ages? I have to think Max is young still. What do you think, Chaz? I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to go, yeah, that's a tough one. I mean, Calvin, Calvin is, has been great. You know, actually, when I look at Calvin, I think of like uh, Pat Kern when he was younger. Uh, just stylistically, he's got great defense. The way he moves and his defense, his guard is so good. And then his, uh, he's got big power when he, when he lands. I'm gonna go with Max uh, based on volume. I, I think I think Max is gonna throw higher volume. Uh, I think I think Cater's gonna look to counter a little too much. And I think Max is going to outpoint him. Max is 29. Cater is 32. But the interesting thing, I mean, granted, like Gilbert said, he didn't really lose, or there were very close fights with Alex. He's lost three of his last four. Max. Dustin. Then he beat. Who did he beat in that? No, um. Edgar. He has a. Because it's a. Lost to Dustin, then he beat Edgar. What'd you say, Dennis? If you want to look for excuses, yeah, because I know I do that. Like, wow, 
It's not true. Also, I didn't. It's yeah. not my weight class. Yeah, I grew up in your mind where you need it. Like if they open that loose to other center or all the cross that you used to cross it, but <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying for sure. No, all right, fellas, let's wrap. You got anything else, Menace? And that's a five round fight. Yeah, yeah, that's the, it's going to be on ABC too, so it's a nice little showcase for MMA. Like they said, I think if it's a, I th I got all right. Here's what I got because. If Cater wrestles and uses his wrestling, I think he can beat Max. If he can take him there, with the full stand up, you know, on their feet for five rounds, I, I think I got Max. Also, if it goes TKO, I think it's going to be because of Cater. So he's. I know, I agree with that 100 I think that. I think if a big shot is landed, it's going to be Cater that lands it. But I so think. I don't sleep some people, you're like. What? Max has some chin though. He does. Yeah, he's got some Get low, yeah. Interesting fight. Like, it'll be sitting here just like bang and dude's like So that, that'll be next week. Not this weekend, next weekend. Um I mean oh. I mean for me it makes me look better if Max wins. It's yeah, true. for sure. Yes. I'm gonna go Max, let's go Max. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll end it on that note. He's younger. Dennis Bermudez, who has a victory over Max Holloway. Thank you for joining us here at the new Sanford MMA podcast. Thanks for having me on, guys. <laughs> All right, Chaz, thank you for the time. I put this. I use my left hand, so I can I can throw the right one out there. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I use the left one. Are you your left handed? No, Amy Dextrix. Oh, who's who's left handed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call out the Dutch runner. Well, you remember last time we were talking about my guy count since I've been in Florida. It's been going up. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm into freaky shit. Wow, that's wild. All right, brother. All right, guys. It was good. Yeah. good. Thank, you guys. Thank you guys for the time. Thank you for joining us, Menace. And even that, Menace, we didn't talk about it. Menace is uh, COVID. We'll touch on that and then we'll wrap it up. You guys get out of here if you guys need to. Yeah, I got to hit the recovery and put it closer. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. This Okay. All right, man. Well, uh, you we know what? Episode 103, we'll talk about your uh, travels and your COVID. I'm into it. I'm into it. All right, man. You're a real mensch. All right. Thank you, boss. All right. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.